Hello, Internet. I decided that since I had the Miller 250DX TIG welder open, I would uh, take the main board out. Okay. It's early, early morning. It's quiet. I'm getting my coffee. So, the only thing I can see that poses an issue from form post on these boards that's a common failure are these tactile switches here. So I'm going to measure them which I've already done, but I'm gonna do it for you guys here. So we're roughly 8.4 millimeter by 8.4 millimeter. So lead spacing Roughly four millimeter. Lead width, 12. So CPU, you can't see it that well because of the conformal coating. They do provide a programming header. Uh, I did message somebody online that does these boards quite frequently. He says this code is locked, so fat chance of getting the firmware. So, but I don't know if you can see it. It is an Atmega 1616. So. I haven't seen anybody do a video on this yet, so I figured I would. Before I put it back together, I will clean this board up because it is pretty dusty. Barely read anything with that conformal coating on there. Somebody asked me on Facebook if I used to take things apart as a kid just to see how they worked. I did. I destroyed a lot of toys when I was a kid. Right, let's flip it over to the back here. Let me zoom out. A little corrosion going on. Or is that just flux residue that they, yeah, it's just flux residue that they put conformal coating over. Those are on the potentiometers. Hand soldered. So, not much going on on the back side. It is dirty. But I said I'll drop it in the ultrasonic and give her a nice clean before I put it back in the machine for the final time. So that is the main board for a Miller 250DX TIG welder.
Have a good night, guys, or a good day, or good morning. I'm not sure where you are. Have a nice have a nice night.